How's it going guys, this is Zerai here. So I wanted to go over all of my trophies that I have achieved within Stellar Blade. Now I have actually gotten 100%, this includes the Platinum Trophy and yet extra two additional trophies such as the New Game Plus completion and also acquiring all of the New Game Plus skills as well. So let's start from the beginning as I progressed through while I was playing the game. Camp preparation by activating the first camp, very simple, play the game, you will get this naturally. Apodon, defeating an Apodon, basically one of the main bosses. Corrupted, defeated Corruptor, again, similar case, defeating one of the bosses. Gigas, defeating a Gigas, also defeating one of the bosses. Altus Loire, retrieve the Hyper Cell from the Altus Loire, basically it's a part of the story, you will get this. Brute, defeating the Brute by defeating one of the bosses. Silent Executioner, defeated 50 enemies by execution, basically more or less of an assassination from the back. You will get this quite naturally, of course, well, just make sure you're actually a little bit paying attention to it. <laughs> Alright, Stalker, by defeating a Stalker, again by defeating one of the bosses. This includes also the Juggernaut defeating one of the, well, Juggernaut, again, one of the bosses. Tachi defeating Tachi, again, one of the bosses, going through the story. Battlefield Martial Artist, perfect dodged 200 enemies attacks, as long as you're doing a lot of dodging while the uh, incoming uh, attacks are coming, then if you do perfect dodges, then you will get this naturally. More often you do it, faster you will achieve getting this trophy. Netiba Hunter defeated 100 enemies with beta skills. As long as you utilize your abilities by the name of beta skills, you will get this naturally. Just make sure you actually defeat your enemies with this skill. Records Collector collect 200 data banks entries, memory sticks, documents, or passcodes. I want to actually mention one thing regarding this trophy. It's very easy to do. As long as you're paying attention and collect everything that you can, as long as you're doing a lot of scans, you will get this trophy. And of course, if you're doing all the rest of the side activities and side quests, then yes, 100%, you will get this very quick. Behemoth, by defeating a behemoth, basically part of the, uh, defeating one of the bosses. Sisterly Love, completed Kai's story, it's more like of a side quest, as long as you complete it, you will get this. Beep, completed Digger story, basically one of the side quests. Beyond Fate, once again, by completing one of the side quests by completing Enya's and Sue's story. Agile Gladiator, basically perfect uh, parried 300 enemy attacks, as long as you're doing a lot of parrying, as perfect timings, then you will get this trophy. Lonely Fisherman, caught 20 different fish, I actually ended up going for all the fishes within the game, as you get a, well, a very beautiful outfit. Now, regarding getting 20 different fishes, quite easy, as long as if you want to, you can even make this easier, if you do some tinkering in the settings, and make the adventure of going through the fishing even quicker. Relentless Destroyer defeated 50 enemies with burst skills. It's the same thing basically by a beta skills, but it's a lot more powerful. And if you killed 50 enemies using this ability, these burst skills, then yeah, you will get this trophy quite naturally. Box Hunter opened 200 boxes. As long as you're collecting everything, like mentioned before, and you open any sorts of boxes, you will get this trophy. Perfect Exospines, enhance 10 Exospines to their max. As mentioned, if you're collecting different varieties of Exospines and they're all over the world, all over this game, then as long as you upgrade and enhance them, 10 of them, mind you, uh, there you can upgrade them three times. As long as you do that and you have enough components to do so, then you will get this trophy. Cold-Blooded Sniper defeated 150 enemies with a ranged attack. It's basically using your droid and as long as you're using it as a ranged attack and also you get a plenty of opportunities using it within this main story as well. And of course, if you want to get this trophy, you will get it. Abyss Loire retrieved the hypercell from the Abyss Loire. Again, part of the main quest. Nano Suit Collector acquired 30 nano suits. This is basically the outfits. As there are more than, I think even more than 37, I think. So as long as you get 30 of them, you're good. And in ca this case, yeah, very easy, not so difficult. As long as you're paying attention, as long as you're going for that platinum trophy, you will get this trophy. Perfect rechargeable tumbler. Enhance the rechargeable tumbler to its max, basically upgrading your health potions. As long as you're going through everything within this game, you will get this trophy. 
Cruel Liberator defeated 1,500 enemies while I was going and doing everything I could all at once in my first play session. I already got this trophy, and it was not difficult. Belial defeated Belial, one of the bosses that you'll have to defeat. Perfect beta energy enhancement, enhanced beta energy to its max. The same thing, upgrading your energy, your beta. As more you upgrade, more often you can use this beta ability. Kakakuri defeated Karakuri. Uh, Karakuri, <laughs> yeah, basically again one of the bosses. Demo Gorgon, Gorgon uh, defeating the. Demo Gorgon, I believe that's how you pronounce it. Yeah, again, one of the bosses by defeating them. Perfect Blood Edge, enhanced bl uh, Blood Edge to its max, basically upgrading your weapon, your main weapon to its maximum, and you will get this trophy. As long as you defeat all the bosses while playing through the game. Can Collector, collecting all cans, there are, I believe, 49 of them. Some of them are a little bit tricky and some others, well, very easy. As long as you're paying attention, once again, use your scans more often. And if you do not know where some of the rest of the cans, again, you can use a walkthrough. Perfect physical enhancement, enhanced HP to its max, same thing as beta, basically an enhancing and upgrading your ability, while in this case, upgrading your health. So you'll have more health. Revenging Agent defeated 50 enemies in Tachi mode is one of the abilities that you actually will be able to unlock while playing through the story. Make sure you defeat 50 enemies using it and you will get this trophy. Raven defeated Raven, second last boss within main story. You defeat the boss and that's it. You got this trophy. Meticulous Explorer activating all of the camps. This is one of the last camps that I needed to get and by that you will simply get it. Naitiba Researcher got all information on all of the Naitibas. Naitibas are the main enemies within this game. Yes, they are included in terms of the bosses and normal regular enemies as well. If you defeat them all, you will get this trophy. This also goes well with my next trophy at the same time that I got. Return to the Colony achieved Return to the Colony ending. And also because I scanned all the Naitibas, this means that I ended up getting uh, both of these trophies pretty much at the same time. Making new memories achieved, making new memories ending is basically going with a different option. Use a different option in terms of its ending. As long as you use the PlayStation Plus Cloud your save system, then you can actually get the second option by making a different choice. Here I started playing the game again, but in a new game plus mode. And this time I've taken the advantage of learning all the skills within the Thorough the Technician. I think that's how you pronounce it. And as well as when you get it, it's not too difficult. Infinite Blade, learning all the skills in New Game Plus, as mentioned a little bit earlier, as long as you take the advantage of learning all the skills, some of the skills may not be fully unlocked, but you can respec. And what I did is respec majority of my skills to make sure that I unlock specific skills towards the New Game Plus. That's how I got this trophy. And yes, this goes well with the next trophy, such as Cost of the Lost Memories. Achieved Cost of the Lost Memories ending. It's basically a bad ending, so, so to say. As long as you get it, that's it. This is the last trophy, and this will uh, mean it will unlock a platinum trophy, Eve Protocol. Now, this actually go, uh, copes well because the next trophy I got was repeating protocols, complete new game plus, and that's it. As long as you replay the game at least one more time, you will get the new game plus trophy, and of course, you get the platinum trophy. That is, that is of course, if you were uh, going with a similar route as I did going with all of the trophies within this game. So this was an incredible experience. I absolutely love and adore this game and the trophy list is very simple to follow through. Not so difficult at all. Now it really depends of course what difficulty you want to play this game on. If you want to make it challenging you can go on normal then go on a hard in new game plus mode or you can go through a whole thing a whole adventure on easy difficulty. It is really is up to you to make that kind of decision. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching, like and subscribe, do let me know, did you get the Platinum Trophy for Stellar Blade, or perhaps maybe you'll be going next for it. Anyway, thank you, like and subscribe, see you guys all, and have a wonderful day.